In today's video, I'll be placing an unlimited amount of the corrupted cameraman and then versing them against a hundred of every single boss on endless mode in Toilet Tower Defense. As some of you may know, Evan, the, the developer of the game, released a new feature about a month ago that allows us partners to place down an unlimited amount of units. So with this feature, I'm going to be placing down as many corrupted cameramans as possible. And make sure you watch until the end because I'll be spawning in a hundred of the motherships so see if we can beat that for sure. But before we begin, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so we get at 200,000 subs before the end of the year. Definitely subscribe to become Sigma, only 10% of you guys are right now. And join my Discord server because we host giveaways there almost daily and I post sneak peeks to future videos as well. Link is in the description. Anyway, I'm also going to be bringing myself a DJ TV man and a Chief Clock man to boost the damage, cooldown, and range of this unit, as well as three other clock units to have time stops as well. And yeah, without any more waiting, let's hop into a match right now. Here we go. And now that I've floated in, I'm actually going to use this command to freeze all toilets, and I'm going to add money to myself with 9 mazillion gazillion dollars. I literally just spammed my keyboard for this amount. But yeah, our goal is to place a total of 500 of these guys down. And I'm gonna make sure to place them as close together as possible, just like what I'm doing right now. So yeah, I'll just cut to once I have all 22 that I can normally place down. And there we go, we finally have 22 placed down already. And we've only covered up by about 5% of the map. But yeah, now if I press this command and run set placement limit, man of Taj, and 999, I can officially place down that many troops. So yeah, all that's left to do now is just do a giant time lapse and be placing down a ton of these corrupted cameramen. So yeah, enjoy the time lapse for now. And there we go, we finally have all 100 placed. And we've actually done a pretty decent amount of the map, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, we're only about a fifth of the way done, with the gold place in a total of 500 down. So uh, yeah, I'll just see you at the halfway mark now. Continue the time lapse. And here we go, we are finally placing the 250th one. So yeah, that is 250 corrupted place. I think we are definitely going to be able to place down a total of 500 for sure. I mean, this is barely even half of the map placed, and we're already at 250 out of 999. So yeah, it is definitely time to continue the time lapse for now. Let's just get all the way to 500. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. 490. 491, 492, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and officially 500 corrupted cameraman's place. And we're not even done yet. We still have this entire middle section to place, as well as the very front. So we're probably gonna have close to 600 in total placed, which is insane. So honestly, I'm just gonna cut to once I place the final few down, but this is looking absolutely crazy. I'm literally the only Toilet Tower Defense YouTuber to be this committed to a video, bro. Everyone else just makes it super quick, and I actually put effort into my videos like this one. But anyway, let me continue placing right now. Now I filled out the entire middle part, and another few spots in the front. It does look like we are gonna end up placing a total of 600 or more down, which is absolutely crazy though. But yeah, starting now, whenever we place them, they're actually gonna start targeting the normal toilets. Meaning we definitely have to hurry up while placing these next few. Or else they'll rotate like this, making it even harder to place them down, unfortunately. But yeah, that is 600 placed, which is crazy. But yeah, there we go. We officially have placed the entire map full of them. I mean, this is insane, bro. Oh so yeah, now that we have every single one of these placed, we unfortunately do have to do the long process of maxing out every single one of these. So yeah, we might as well just get started right now. This is gonna take a while, so we might as well just do one more time lapse of us doing so. Enjoy it, I guess. And 
now we've pretty much upgraded all of them before they even start attacking. Like, look, if I start upgrading this one right here, it's actually going to start attacking now. Meaning all the ones that we haven't upgraded will just automatically start attacking these toilets. But yeah, this is taking me almost an hour to place and max every single one of these. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. But yeah, let me just finish maxing these real quick, and I'll just cut to once all of them are maxed out as well. And here we go. We are finally down to our last three, and two, and finally one. Now we literally have an entire map filled with maxed out corrupted cameramans. This is actually crazy looking, bro. And now we can finally start spawning in a hundred of every single boss in the game. So without any more waiting, let's type in spawn toilet, large glasses toilet, wave 10 health, 100 of them, and a 0.1 delay between, and yes, it is a boss. So yeah, here they come, and we're literally instantly spawning through them, bro. They literally stand no chance. No way. Oh wait, I know why it's not working. It's because we didn't allow the toilets to move again. So now let's do the command. Let's just spawn them in right away without yapping about it, and yeah, here they come. Instantly being shredded, bro. They literally stand no chance against us. Like, look, they're literally not even moving from their spawn location. That's crazy. And yeah, we already got all 100. That was so easy, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, next up, we do have the Wave 20 boss, which is the Mutant Toilet 2.0. So let's type in spawn toilet, mutant toilet version 2, wave 20 health, 100 of them, and a 0.1 delay between each of them. Here we go. And just like the last time, we're literally instantly shredding through them, no problem whatsoever. Just look, bro, this is crazy looking. They literally stand no chance against us, and we already got all 100. But yeah, next up on the list, we actually do have the wave 30 boss. This one is actually the dual flying buzzsaw toilet. A wave 30 health, 100 of them, 0.1 delay, and yes, it is a boss. And here they come spawning in. And yo, they're barely even moving just like the last few. They're literally not even moving past spawn whatsoever, bro. Not more than two or three were spawning in at a time, and we already beat that wave as well. But yeah, wave 30 was definitely pretty easy. But what I'm a little bit worried about is definitely wave 40. I mean, on this wave, we're literally going to be spawning in 100 glitch toilets. So honestly, I think I'm going to get ready to use my time stop in case we really need to use it. I'm going to spawn myself B-tools. That way I can copy and place the floor and put it over this way to place my units on it. This platform right here will be to place down all of my clock units. So yeah, we'll place the clock right here, the golden one right there, and then the large one right next to that one. So yeah, now that we have all these handy, I'll definitely do the next wave of toilets, which is obviously the glitch toilet at wave 40 health, 100 of them, 0.1 delay, and yes, it is a boss. Let's turn around and just see them spawn in. And yo, they're already speeding up, bro. I'm a little bit worried, I'm not gonna lie. But it does look like we are keeping up with them pretty easily, though. And yeah, here they all come. They're all just speeding up instantly. And they are actually starting to get pretty far, so I'm a little bit worried. But yo, there's actually all of them spawned in, and it actually looks like we are able to get all 100 of them. And yeah, we got all 100. Let's go. That was actually surprisingly easy. I did not expect to get that so easily for sure. But yeah, next up on the list, we actually do have the Giant Smooth Toilet. So let's type in Spawn Toilet, Giant Smooth Toilet, Wave 50 Health, 100 of them, 0.1, and yes. Here we go, 100 Giant Smooth Toilets. This is absolutely crazy, bro. And yo, there's just so many of them. And I'm not gonna lie, they are actually getting pretty far. That's mainly because of how laggy we are. But yeah, let's see if we can beat 100 Giant Smooth Toilets. And honestly, I think we're just gonna use the time stop to hopefully clear out all these a lot easier. I mean, these things are just attacking super slow because of how many there are. So it's definitely gonna be tough to get all of them for sure. But honestly, let's just do a mini time lapse of me killing through all of these. Enjoy the time lapse. And there we go, we officially have below 50 of them. And yeah, now we're pretty much gonna instantly shred through all of them. Like watch, all of them are just gonna instantly start losing all of their health. I mean, we're already down to our last 13, 12, 10, 11, 8, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we beat them all. Let's go. 
So yeah, now we just gotta wait for all of our time stops to be back. And once they're back, then we'll do the next batch. And I think what I'm actually gonna do now is act as if there's actually a slowing toilet this entire time, making all of their speed 0.4. That way it's a little bit more fair in case there was like an astro place for all of these. And we're actually pretty close to getting our time stop back, so I think we're just gonna spawn in the next batch. Up next, we do actually have the Frost Skeleton Toilet. So let's type in Spawn Toilet, Frost Skeleton Toilet, Wave 60 Health, 100 of them. And this time we're actually gonna do a 0.2 delay just to break up the lag a little bit. And yes, it is a boss. So here they come, all of them are instantly spawning in again. As you can see, the toilet count is just constantly rising. And we've only taken out about 3 or 4 by now. So yeah, this is definitely going to be our toughest one yet. I mean, just look how many there are. This is crazy looking. But yeah, this is definitely going to be tough because all these do have 13 million health on them each. So yeah, this might take a while for sure. Not to mention that there's other toilets spawning in as well, making it even tougher. But yeah, we finally killed at least a few of them because we are below 100 toilets again. And now we're below 90, and 80, and 70. And now that actually the next wave is spawning in, making it even more toilets. So that's definitely a little bit annoying, but it's whatever, I guess. But now they're actually to the point to where they were last time, and there's barely even half of them left. So yeah, we are definitely going to have to use some of our time stops 100%. In fact, yeah, we might as well just start using them right now. Let's just cycle through all three that we have, and then we'll worry on from there. So yeah, there's the second one used. And honestly, we're down to our last 25, so I don't think we're going to use any more than that. I want to take out the last 22 legit. And there we go, we finally killed all 100 of them. They are definitely starting to get pretty close though, I'm not going to lie. But what I'm really worried for is the giant turkey toilets. I would not be surprised at all if we lagged out right here. So yeah, hopefully our PC does not crash right now. Let's type in spawn toilet, giant turkey toilet, wave 70 health, 100 of them, and a 0.2 delay between, and yes, it is a boss. Please do not let us lag out, bro. Please do not let us lag out. Please, please, please. The second they start doing their attacks, I'm gonna be so worried, bro. I mean, there's not even 50 in the game, and we're already starting to lag a ton. And any second now, they're probably gonna do their red laser attack, which is gonna literally make us crash, probably. So yeah, I'm really hoping we do not. So far, they haven't used it, though, which is kind of good. I'm honestly surprised they haven't used it yet. But yeah, we've probably killed about 20 of them, but it's unfortunate that we can't really tell because these stupid toilets keep on spawning in as well. And yo, no way, they're using their green attack. Or not their green attack, but their red laser attack. And yo, bro, I am so laggy. Look how many got stunned, bro. That's insane. How am I still alive, bro? Look how many got stunned. What the sigma, bro? Just look how many Zs there are. How have we not crashed, bro? But yeah, we are officially below 100 toilets. So we are definitely doing pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, sorry, now we're below 90. My bad, my bad. Anyway, now we're below 80. We are definitely not doing great though. They're already to here pretty much. And we've only taken out about 20 of them. But yeah, once they get to this point right here, we'll definitely start using all of our time stops. So we just gotta wait until then. But bro, whenever they stun, it's actually making me lag so hard, bro. Look how many Zs there are. Insane lag, bro. They're just constantly using their red laser. But yeah, let's start time stopping right now and just cycle through all three of them. And hopefully this can clutch up for us. And now let's use the next one. And now we're about 50 toilets down. Meaning we are about halfway done and we still have one time stop, luckily. So yeah, as soon as it's done time stopping, we'll use it right away just like so. Now we should easily be able to get the rest of these, I'm not gonna lie. 30 seconds on a time stop makes it so much easier. So yeah, now we're down to 40. And again, unfortunately the next wave is spawning in now. Meaning we are gonna have to wait a while before we can actually see exactly how many are left. But no matter, we're probably below 30 by now. But yeah, whenever they use the red laser attack, it literally stuns almost every single one of these. Just look. But yeah, we should be able to get these no problem, I'm not gonna lie. 
we're already doing a pretty solid job. But yeah, now we're down to about 20, and 10, and 5, and 3, and finally, the last giant turkey toilet, and we did it, let's go! We actually beat wave 70 boss, and we're actually just in time for wave 80. So let's use the command spawn toilet, dual cargo toilet, wave 80 health, 100 of them, and a 0.1 cooldown, and yes, it is a boss. So we're actually gonna have 101 of these on the map. And I'm gonna get ready to instantly time stop whenever the glitches start speeding up. Because the second they do, we are so dead. And I am not gonna take any chances while dying, bro. Because we've made it so far and I'm not trying to lose. But yeah, just look how many there are. This is crazy. And honestly, these aren't making us lag too much, so we should be able to get them no problem. So yeah, we're actually doing pretty solid. We're down to our last 90-ish. But what I just realized is whenever these actually collapse, they spawn in two glitches. Meaning we're basically fighting 300 toilets right now. So yeah, I'm definitely going to start cycling time stops any second now. I'm not going to take any chances with all of these cargos. In fact, yeah, once a glitch gets to about this corner, we'll definitely start. I just want to make sure these dual cargo toilets are actually in a solid spot before we start skipping, I guess. So yeah, I guess right about now we'll start. And hopefully, just hopefully, we do not die here. Because if we do, that is going to be super unfortunate. And yo, wait, what? These are all breaking, but not the glitch toilets. That is not good. So yeah, let's just time stop immediately. Hopefully, we can clear out all these glitches now. But if not, that is not good whatsoever. There's actually so many, bro. And watch, the second they start moving, they're all going to speed up. We need a time stop. Oh my gosh, bro. That was way too close. I'm gonna get ready to freeze all of the toilets to make sure we don't lose this run. Because I am not trying to restart all of this. In fact, yeah, as soon as they're unstunned, let's just permanently stun them forever. I'm not risking anything. So yeah, any second now. And now, stop them. I am not gonna die to these glitches, bro. Hell nah. But yeah, that was definitely close. Way too close for comfort for sure. But yeah, all the last few cargo toilets are actually dying and now it's just the glitch toilets. So we'll just let them die out by themselves. And let's just do a mini time lapse of all of them dying. So I'll just see you at the end of it. It shouldn't be too long. And here we go. We're actually about to kill the last few and the last one and we got them. So yeah, now that all of them are killed, let's run the next command. Which is obviously spawn toilet, broken heart toilet, wave 90 health, 100 of them, and a 0.1 delay. Here we go. And dang it, I forgot to make sure they were a boss, but it's whatever. Obviously, you guys know that this is a boss, so wish us luck. I mean, all these literally have 85 million health on them. So yeah, I'm not really gonna do much yapping for this one, so enjoy the time lapse of me killing all 100 of these. I'll just see you guys at the end of it. Now we are finally down to our last few. This has taken way too much time, I'm not even gonna lie. Corrupted Cameraman is just not that great of a unit. So yeah, we are finally down to the last one and any second now we are gonna get it. So in three, two, one, and GG's. We finally got all the 100 broken heart toilets. That actually took way too long. But yeah, now we do have the wave 100 boss. But honestly, waves 100 to wave about like 130 are so boring that I think we're only going to do one of each. I just kind of want to go through all these until we can get to the mothership box. So let's spawn toilet, DJ toilet version 2, wave 100 health, one of them, one second delay, and yes, it is a boss. So yeah, here we go. We're obviously going to be able to shred through this no problem. So yeah, this is going to be super easy to get for sure. And yeah, it's already below 50 million, 40, 30, 20, 10, and yeah, we already got it. Let's go. Now let's spot in the wave 110 boss, which is obviously the mutant pumpkin toilet with 110 weighty, one of them, one second delay, and yes, it is a boss. 
So yeah, let's see if we can take out the Mewin Pumpkin Toilet with 153 million health on it. But we just have to wait for it to get targeted, so I'll just cut to once it's being targeted again. And here we go, any second now it will start getting targeted, so right about now. And yeah, we're doing about 20 million damage a second, which is crazy. But yeah, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and yeah, we already got it. Now let's do the wave 120 boss, which is obviously the normal Astro Toilet. And honestly, let's just try to do 10 of them. And yeah, let's see if we can take out all 10 of these. This is definitely a little bit risky, but it's worth a shot. Since all of them are pretty slow as well, they should be pretty easy to get. So yeah, we're already about to take down the first one. And yeah, there goes the first one, and the second one, and the third one, and the fourth one, and the fifth, and the sixth, and the seventh, and the eighth. And honestly, I'm gonna use my time stops real quick. I just wanna make sure we clear through all these no problem. So there's the second to last, and finally the last Astro Toilet. So yeah, 10 was definitely pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, let's just spawn in the next one right away. And that is obviously the Rabbit Rabbit Toilet on wave 130 health. Let's spawn in 5 of these, and yes, it is a boss. So yeah, here we go. 5 Rabbit Rabbit Toilets with 320 million health each. Plus, if they were to attack one of our Corrupteds, they would literally stun it for 2 minutes. So yeah, let's see if we can take out 5 of these. But yeah, it does look like we are already about to take out the first one. So yeah, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and yeah, we already got one of them. And two of them. And two left. But yeah, as you can see, some of these Corrupteds are literally stunned for two minutes. Which is absolutely crazy, bro. Like, look, there's even more over here. And I could probably find some more. Yeah, over here too. But yeah, we are about to be down to our final one. So yeah, here we go. 200 million health on it left. Honestly, we're doing a pretty solid job of taking it out. I'm not super worried. And now it's down to 100 million. And 50. 40. 30, 20, 10, and let's go. We got all of those as well. And now we are up to the wave 140 boss. On this wave, we do have the Juggernaut Astro Toilet. So we'll spawn in three of these. And here we go. Let's see if we can take out three Juggernaut Astro Toilets. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I did the wrong one. It's not supposed to be Juggernaut. It's supposed to be Secutor. Let me delete all three of these real quick. I didn't mean to spawn those in yet. So yeah, this time let me make sure to spawn in the right one. There we go. So yeah, let's see if we can take out three secular Astro Toilets. Each do have 139 million health on them. And plus, they literally have a shield to block everything. But yo, we actually already took out the first one. Let's go. And we're already about to take out the second one. Wait, why is this actually so easy, bro? In fact, yeah, there goes the second one right there. And now we only have one left. Yeah, this one's actually so easy. What? They literally barely even got to the halfway point. So yeah, in three, two, one, we beat the wave. Let's go. And for some reason, I am super laggy right now. I actually have no clue as to why. But no matter, let's spawn in the wave 150 boss. Which is obviously the Juggernaut Astro Toilet with wave 150, three of them, one second cooldown, and yes, it is a boss. So yeah, let's see if we can take out three of these. They do have 273 million health each, so this is definitely going to be very tough. But yeah, we've already deeped one of them about half health now. So it's actually looking pretty possible. And 40%. And 30%, and 20%, and 10%, and yeah, there goes the first one already. Now we're down to two. And yeah, now the next one is actually about 50% health already. So we should be able to get it again. In fact, both of them are already pretty low as well. In fact, the one in the front is actually below 80 million now. If you haven't noticed already, I am definitely starting to lag a lot though. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, here we go. Any second now, we're gonna be down to our last one. And this one only has about 120 million health on it, so we should be able to get it before we lose. In fact, I'm so confident that I'm not going to time stop at all. 
So yeah, 50, 40, 30. And yo, it actually used its shield, meaning it can't use any damage on it. Oh no. Wait, we might not actually be able to get it. This is gonna be close. It's down to 20, 10, and never mind. We got it without any problems. Let's go. Anyway, next up on the list, we do have the Wave 160 boss, which is the Carrier Astro Tolele. And honestly, I'm only gonna spawn in one of these. But don't worry, I plan on spawning in a hundred of the motherships. But yeah, this toilet literally has 1 billion health on it. So this is definitely gonna be very tough. But no matter, let's see if we can take it out. It is gonna take a second for it to be attacked though, because we do have to wait for all these toilets and fronts to stay away. So yeah, now it'll be attacked. And yeah, 1 billion health on it. I am not confident that we can take it out whatsoever. But no matter, let's do a time lapse of us taking it out. I'll see you at the end of it for sure. And here we go, the last 100 million on the Carrier Astro Toilet. So yeah, this was actually pretty easy by itself because obviously we do have 600 corrupted cameramans, but yeah, we got the box. And as you can see, I am so laggy right now, holy. But wait, why is it still alive? Okay, now it's gone. And yeah, we got the last Interceptor Astro Toilet as well. And obviously, the moment that you guys have been all waiting for, the 100 motherships. So let's spawn in 100 of the mothership, wave 170 health, 100 of them, 0.1 delay, and yes, it is a boss. Oh my god, we are so cooked, bro. 7.6 billion health on all of these, what the heck? Yo, that's literally almost a trillion health in total, bro. Yo, we are so dead, bro. There's literally no way we live this. You know what? Even if we don't even kill a single one of these, you have to subscribe. So, yeah, enjoy the time lapse of me trying to kill all 100 of these motherships. Even though they're literally immune, taking zero damage. So, yeah, enjoy the time lapse. Yeah, we literally didn't even take out a single one, and in fact, the front one only took about a billion health and damage. So, yeah, it is not a surprise that 600 corrupted cameramans can't even take out the mothership. Not even a singular one. But, yeah, we lose in 3, 2, 1, and yeah, GG's. So yeah, that literally took me 200 minutes to record. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton. And comment down below which unit I should do next. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon though. Peace out everybody.